I have got this page right here that's a clean off page from that one right there. And it already has a bunch of texture on it and it's been gessoed. I just just said the same, textured it and just said it at the same time I had done this page over here. So, um, so I'm going to take some Montana paint markers because I haven't used these in a while and I love using them. They're messy. That's why I haven't used them in a while. They're really messy. And mm, I'm just going to spread a bunch of pink at the top. and green at the bottom. Whoa. Mm. I just got paint all over my floor. Alrighty. Let's not contaminate the other page. Oh, phooey. I really messed that up. Okay. More water. Now the green. Oh wow, whoops. Don't know what I'm doing as usual. Mm. Got paint there I don't want to waste. Okay. this again. Okay, I think that'll be good enough. Get the lids back on this. What a mess. Let's just get rid of that. Okay. Now I'm going to let this dry and be back to try to figure out what the heck I'm going to do. I have got some gelatos out. I'm just going to kind of play around with those making, doing some mark making. Kind of go off the page. That texture's chewing up the gelatos. Oh my. And right here. Mm. Just kind of playing around. I don't know what other colors I'm going to do down there. may have been the wrong color green to use, but I'm going with it. really didn't want to have green that close to the green. Maybe I'll just use a little bit right here. 
and a little bit. I hope this is orange. Kind of hard to tell. I think it's orange. Boy, I'm making a mess. That te texture is really chewing up the uh, gelatos here, so kind of making a mess. That's okay. Boy, those things are creamy. So creamy. I just love them. Alright, so I'm going to finish mushing up some color on here and then be back. I have an Impression Obsession stamp. This is the, um, which background is it? This is the splatter background. And I'm going to take some Adirondack Paint Dabber. I was trying to get it juicier, but... Because at this rate, I'll be sitting here for the next five minutes just trying to get the ink on it. But it's not coming out any easier. <laughs> eh! And I don't want to go edge to edge because I don't want the lines to show. Let's just start here. I don't know how much of this is going to show because of the texture. But, yeah, that's good enough. So, obviously this is going to take uh, me a while because this is uh, taking too long to get all the paint on it. And I'll have to wait for it to dry too, so I'll be back. I'm going to use some black stays on and this uh, Donna Downey stamp and just... Do a little bit more stamping this time with uh, ink instead of, hmm. With ink instead of, uh, yeah, I'll spit it out in a minute, um, paint. I just kind of want to have these viney leaves going around kind of the entire page here. Whoops. Oh boy, that ain't gonna work. My block's gonna hit it. And I know a lot of people use these stamps without the blocks like I'm doing right now. And the only reason I don't like to do that is because um, when I do want them to stick, I find that the more you handle this, they, you know, your skin oils and stuff gets on that, and then it's it doesn't stick anymore, so it loses its stickiness. So that's the only reason I don't try not to anyway. Let's see, how do I want to have this come out? Hmm hmm hmm. You know what? I don't want this little stem showing right here, so I am going to smoosh the paint off that so that it's just coming right up there. <clears throat> and down here. And, okay, I will finish this up and be back. Okay, now I've got some charcoal out, and I am just drawing around and smudging. Probably smudging too much. But I 
can go in with an eraser. No biggie. So I'm going to do all this first and then go back and clean it up. I am unusually quiet. This time around, I don't know what's up with me. Alright, so you get the gist of what I'm doing here. I'm going to go back and um, with the white eraser and look um, and clean up some of this after I get it done. And um, then I'll be back to finish this off. Okay, so I wound up trying a couple of things that didn't work out. So because of that, I didn't record the process. And then I wound up doing something else and... What it is, I just just took some bubble wrap with some white acrylic paint on it and kind of just added some more texture. And then I went around um, each of my circles with some white acrylic ink um, because I decided I wanted to get some journaling out on this page. Um, I felt the need for it. So that's why I did this. I let it dry. Then I went back in with my pen and I just did a whole bunch of journaling around each of the circles. And um, that's it. So this page is done, and um, I'm going to call it a night. <laughs> All right, I'll see you later.